Engineering mechanics is a fascinating subject. It is so important for engineers that I would even go to the extent to say that if you know the basic mechanics, you are almost an engineer. Mechanics is a sequence of a few courses, including statics, dynamics, and strength of materials. Engineering mechanics focuses on the study of response of bodies under the action of forces. What do these words mean? What are bodies? What is a response? What are forces? Bodies can be anything. It may be a table, or a gadget, or a building, or an aircraft wing. Response means how bodies react when you apply forces. For example, think of a chair. A chair may be designed to withstand, say, 300 pounds. I weigh 150 pounds, so there is no problem if I sit on it. But if you overload the chair, it may break. This is the response from the chair when a force is applied. There is always a response, but sometimes you can see and feel the response because it is large. Sometimes you don't see because the response is small. For example, consider a rubber band. If I pull this, it expands. You can see the response of this rubber band under the action of the force that I am applying. It responds by increasing its length. So bodies are any objects that we want to study. Response is how bodies react when forces are applied. Now that we have a better understanding of bodies and the response, it is time for us to develop an understanding of forces. You probably have heard a simple definition of a force as early as in your third grade. It is stated as force is a push Or a pull. This simple definition is still true and we will continue to use it in this class. For simplicity, we can classify forces into two categories, contact forces and non-contact forces. As the name implies, contact forces occur when two bodies are in physical contact. For example, the force that I'm applying on this rubber band is a tensile force. Contact forces are tension forces, compression forces, normal forces, friction forces, spring forces, air resistant forces, and any applied force. Non-contact forces are weight, which is a gravitational force, electric forces, and magnetic forces. There are also strong nuclear and weak nuclear forces. They play an important role in quantum mechanics. We don't deal with these forces in this class as we are dealing with Newtonian mechanics. Let us talk a little bit more about forces. If I apply a force on the wall, what happens? You can see I am applying a force, but there is no visible change in the wall. Wall is not moving and it is staying where it was. So what is happening? The force that I am applying is being resisted by the wall and that's why the wall is not moving. This resistance force or reaction force is equal and opposite to the force that I'm applying. So there are two forces here. The force that I am applying, the reaction force from the wall. I can extend this logic to our weight. Realize we are standing on the floor. This means our weight is pushing onto the floor. If the floor is not pushing back, then we will not stay on the floor will keep falling. Can you imagine that? So I can say force does not exist alone. Forces always occur in pairs. So now that we have developed the definitions for body, response, and forces, let us see what we want to do in statics in the next video.